a dad decides to protest at a school board meeting by taking off his clothes to make a point about clothes in the school system. Here it is. Because I have no other way to describe my concerns about this policy, I'll do an object lesson. This is what I do for my kids when I have to tell them why we're doing things the way we need to do them. Under the proposed policy, this would be appropriate in a classroom. Now, if you ask me, this is inappropriate for a board meeting. If you have a dress code policy that allows us in a classroom, it does not promote a, health, a safe uh, classroom environment, as well as limiting the amount of distractions in the classroom. I would like to request that the board reject this current policy, either enforce the, the policy that we have, or have a policy that reflects more concerns that reflects with what uh, condu condu conducts a better environment for the students, for them to get the most education out of the class, as well as prepare them to enter the workforce when they leave the school. I can't think of any place of work where I could walk in in an interview and be taken serious in something like this. So let's put, let's, let's be adults for these students. Let's put the right policies in place to help them have success in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, did you think about the fact that your children got to go to school in that school district after their pops decided, listen, man, uh, whatever you want to do, you do. But you said in the beginning, sir, that this is how you teach your children. So obviously, you believe that you are engaging in an appropriate form of conduct. What led up to this? Here it is. President Schultz, members of the board, uh, my name is Ira Latham. I have four children that attend in the Higley Unified School District. I'm here today to talk about the proposed dress code uh, um, uh, changes that are up for voting. Uh, I, was, I spoke before on the dress code changes, it was voted down uh, for much of the same reason I think that it should be voted down this time. I read through the dress code, the new proposal, it's much more wordy this time, but it says the exact same th essential thing. It's my request, uh, President Schultz and members of the board, that you reject this uh, current proposal and you either enforce the current dress code that we have or you have a dress code that reflects more of the concerns of the uh, parents in the district. As a parent, I expect the district to be able to enforce uh, policies that help my children be able to go to class and know how they can contribute to a safe uh, classroom environment, as well as limiting the needless distractions in the class. This policy does not do that. I also think that it uh, brings a lot of unnecessary pressure on teachers having to deal with the vagueness of this policy. Because I have no other way to describe my concerns about this policy, I'll do an object lesson. This is what I do for my kids when I have to tell them why we're doing things the way we need to do them. Under the proposed policy, this would be appropriate in a classroom. Now, if you ask me, this is inappropriate for a board meeting. If you have a dress code policy that allows us in a classroom, it does not promote a, health, a safe uh, classroom environment, as well as limiting the amount of distractions in the classroom. Put them up full mass, sir. We know you wanted to do this anyway. Um, you got four children, four, okay? And you believe this is the only way to make a point? This doesn't add up to me. Once again, sir, you're free to wear what you choose. During a September meeting, Mr. Latham was meeting about the Higley Unified School District in Gilbert, Arizona. This dad took the district's governing board and those in attendance by surprise when he decided to take off his clothing in a protest of the dress code policy, all right? So back in May, the school governing board began discussions about updating its student dress code policy, which had not been changed since 2001. Our school boards do this routinely. The board met again in August to discuss the proposed policy and again in September. The new recommended policy said, and I quote, clothing must cover all private body parts and or undergarments and must not be see-through undergarment waistbands and or straps that are incidentally visible 
under clothing are permitted. However, undergarment may not be worn as clothing. Some of the five board members advocated for a new for new looser dress code policies, eliminating restrictions around tank tops, showing midriff and more. These are kids. They're not at a job, and I recognize at the end of the day, this is the uh, the most job that they have. But we need to allow freedom," said Amanda Wade, a governing board member. They argued the existing policies actually disproportionately impact or target female students. "Quote: We're saying that they need to cover up because of the way it might make someone else feel, and that is wrong," said Tiffany Schultz, the governing board president. Other board members were in favor of maintaining a more modest dress code. If we are are prepping our children to be college and career ready, then they need to learn to be able to have self-respect. And that doesn't include showing off their body parts, said Anna Van Hoek, a governing board member. So parents like uh, Mr. Latham there gave public comment throughout the process. Uh, These are my babies. These are my kids. I'm concerned about them, uh, Latham said. My concerns were about preparing students for entering the workforce, setting the right expectations, having respect for other students and teachers. Latham spoke out at a prior meeting, but he thought he needed to make a statement to get his point across, which is why he opted for a dramatic outfit change, uh, basically theatrics. Uh, Latham said he purchased the clothing at a thrift store. He put a lot of planning and effort into it. Uh, the dress code that they wanted to get uh, to get to is just basically a dress code for a public pool, is what he said. Make sure that kids cover their underwear, and that's about it, Latham said. Following his demonstration, the board uh, voted three to two to approve the new, more lenient dress code. He still lost the whole battle. It's going to get harder for teachers to deal with this new policy. It's going to be distracting in the classroom, and it's going to have some parents that want to pull their kids out of the district, uh, Latham said. Uh, The irony of it all, the irony of it all. Um, So number one, the dress code policy uh, is not adverse to normative policy. I looked at it. It's not extreme. And the policy did need to be updated to be congruent to the rules that we now have that govern what's called equal or fair treatment of students. You can actually lose federal money if you decide to engage in this uh, disproportionate punishment. So they were addressing it. It's an argument for sure, Mr. Latham, you're a parent. You have four children in that school system. We understand that as well. But your actions in front of the board, in front of the parents, and frankly, in front of kids and the world, well, That may not have been the most professional approach either. I'm sure you have a job, sir. Would you have done that at your place of employment? I think it's ironic that you're making a point about children being appropriate and professional. They're children, they're immature and anything but. So you have to guide them, lead them by teaching them things like, I don't know, character, love, value, how to treat people. The dress code, we get it, decency is a thing. We all have to follow it, even as adults. But sir, you thought the only way to present your side of the case was to become a clown in the circus. All right, Ms. Khan, thoughts? Yeah, what a way to make a statement. There was probably a better way to prove the point that he was trying to make. He seems like a very eloquent person. He could have just used his words, but I guess if he had just used his words, we probably wouldn't be talking about him right now. When I was in junior high and in high school, I had to abide by a dress code and obviously I hated it. But now as an adult, as an old lady, I can kind of see the benefit of things like dress codes and even school uniforms. And I feel very old saying that. I don't know the details of this dress code, but from what I have seen, it seems like a pretty standard dress code. And everyone is going to have a different benchmark as far as what they think is appropriate in certain settings and what isn't. I think dress codes can be done reasonably. It doesn't have to be so extreme. They can be done in a way that allows kids to express themselves and to have their personality come through, through their style in a way that they are comfortable with themselves and with others. And I really think that that is important, especially for kids that age. 
But ultimately, I, I just want the kids to learn however right. they can best do that, whatever that environment needs to look like. I just want the babies to read more books, however that happens. Go. Well said.